Item number SCP-3272, Object Class, Safe, Security Level 1, Special Containment Procedures. Foundation agents embedded within all major space stations are to coordinate the suppression of evidence of SCP-3272. Amateur astronomy communities are to be monitored for any possible reports of SCP-3272 activity with particular attention being paid to individuals known to have access to telescopes with a resolution of 0.02 or fewer arc seconds. Presently, no instances of SCP-3272 have survived hemispheric re-entry, and thus require no active containment efforts. Description SCP-3272 is a series of human corpses that lay scattered along Earth's orbit trajectory. These corpses will inevitably re-enter Earth's atmosphere unless otherwise interfered with. Outside of originating from outer space, these corpses are believed to be non-anomalous. Since initial discovery on the 3rd of September 2053 by the Craig 1 telescope crew, 13 instances have been confirmed to have re-entered Earth's atmosphere. Efforts to recover an instance of SCP-3272 are ongoing. Notice from the Foundation Records and Information Security Administration. You are currently viewing an outdated version of this document. Click here to view the most recent revision. You are now currently viewing the most up-to-date version of this document. Item number SCP-3272 Object Class Safe Security Level 2 Special Containment Procedures Due to security concerns, SCP-3272 is to be stored in a Faraday cage at Site-48. The hermetic seal within SCP-3272 is not to be breached under any circumstances. The whereabouts of Person of Interest 2658 are currently under investigation. They are to be apprehended for interrogation and subsequent amnestization. Description SCP-3272 is a standard configuration portable toilet that has presumably been modified by Person of Interest 2658 to be repurposed as a temporal displacement device. The tank has been retrofitted to contain various electronic components and is hermetically sealed. The left interior panel displays a touchscreen which allows the user to select the exact magnitude of time to like to transfer but like to traverse. And a door lock mechanism has been repurposed to activate the device. When a lock is toggled, all foreign matter that currently exists within SCP-3272 is immediately transported to the specific time. This effect is repeatable and, to Foundation's knowledge, consistent. It is theorized that SCP-3272 does not alter the current timeline, but rather induces a closed timeline curve. It is incapable of altering the past, present, or future of baseline reality. SCP-3272 was discovered in Pasadena, California, after an anonymous tip to local authorities led to the aid of a storage unit that was entered out by Brian Monet, person of interest 2658, a 33-year-old electrochemical engineer and physicist with a PhD thesis on special relativity. Inside the unit was a workbench, a cash register filled with $8,357.23, a drawer filled with 43 handwritten receipts, a brief type manual explaining the basic operations and functions of SCP-3272 and the object itself. Addendum 3272A Test Log Test 1. Test Subject, a six-sided die. Procedure. The die was placed within SCP-3272 and the destination was set as five seconds in the past. The door was closed and the lock was engaged. 
Upon the conclusion of the test, the die was no longer inside of SCP-3272. Test 2 A six-sided die. The die was placed within SCP-3272 and the destination was set as five seconds in the future. The door was closed and the lock was engaged. Upon the conclusion of the test, the die was no longer inside of SCP-3272. Test 3 a six-sided die. Die was placed within SCP-3272 and the destination was set as one picto-second in the past. The door was closed and the lock was engaged. As delivered to SCP-3272 was closed, the eastern wall of the testing chamber experienced a high-velocity impact. Embedded in the concrete was the remains of a six-sided die. Test 4. D-5820. D-5820 entered SCP-3272 and the destination was set as 15 seconds in the past. The door was closed and the lock was engaged. Upon the conclusion of the test, the subject was no longer inside of SCP-3272. A human corpse was seen re-entering Earth's atmosphere at approximately the same time that Test 32724 was conducted.